Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at a beautiful species of thread-waisted wasp in the Sphecidae family and the Ammophila genus. And we believe this may be an Ammophila procera, but there are actually multiple species of Ammophila wasps that have a similar look. So let us know in the comments what you think. Is this the procera or maybe a close relative? We're also not sure if this is a female wasp or a male wasp, so let us know what you think in the comments. For now, we'll refer to this wasp as a she. Regardless, we'll call this the common thread-waisted wasp, as they're also known. This footage was shot on July 26th of 2022 here in northeast Indiana. This is a beautiful wasp with a gorgeous abdomen color that is similar to the color of lava. Here you see what appears to be her circulatory system pulsing in her abdomen. She was kind enough on this day to allow us to observe her up close while she went through her entire grooming process, which was fascinating to watch. This wasp is incredibly flexible with her legs. As you'll see in the footage here, she just has an amazing ability to groom her entire body with these long legs. And as you can see, she clings on with her mandibles and also with the hooks on the end of her feet. And this allows her an amazing amount of agility. And as you focus on her face here for a moment, take a look at her perfectly structured mouth parts. These are perfect for what she does best, which is drink nectar from flowers. This is what makes wasps like her great pollinators. They're very important to the pollination process in general. Like bees, they go from plant to plant drinking nectar. And when they do that, the tiny hairs you see on her body, on her thorax, which is her upper body, and her head, you see fine hairs on her head. Uh, these are all part of the ways that they transfer pollen around in the ecosystem. So it's very important that you do not kill wasps who do this job for us. We need them in the environment and they are good for the local ecosystem. This wasp is native to North America and ranges down into Central America. As you may know, this footage is all shot in slow motion so we can get a better look at her movements. Uh, but here we're gonna freeze frame it just a second so you can take a look at the small tongue-like structure that comes out of the long part of her mouth. This anatomy is ideal for drinking nectar from the very deep parts of a plant and a flower. The common thread-waisted wasps are beneficial wasps. They're a type of digger wasp that build their nests underground by burrowing out a space for their prey, which is caterpillars and other insects that their larvae feed on until they pupate and emerge from the burrow as adult wasps. So if you see these around your property, please let them live. They're good pollinators and good biological control agents. They help keep the pest population down, especially the pest insects that eat your garden and your plants. Just let them do what they do for the local ecosystem because they are definitely your friends and they're not known to be aggressive towards humans unless they're directly attacked. These are solitary wasps, meaning they don't have large colonies like a Polistes dominula or a yellow jacket species would. These wasps are on their own. Uh, they're not gonna bother you. They're not gonna swarm you. So just relax and let them be part of your native environment. Just as an example of that, we were right up close within inches of this wasp to get this footage. And she just hung out like there was nothing going on at all. She just kind of looked at us and was completely chill the whole time. You'd swear looking at her that she was intelligent and simply knew that we were not there to harm her. But whatever it is, they definitely are not aggressive and they certainly don't mind people at all. Take a look for a minute just at the movements of this wasp. So graceful. Those long legs with incredible agility to just touch all the parts of the back of her neck and the top of her head. And this grooming process is always done by every wasp in such a way that they can clean really literally all the dust off of their body. Pollens, debris, parasites, anything they need to remove um, is done this way. But this wasp in particular with the super long legs, really interesting to watch. That's it for today's video. We sure appreciate those of you who tuned in. We hope you'll come back and visit again. Have a good one.